Hi everyone, this is Maths for Uni. Today we'll be looking at question 8 from lecture 9 of our Udemy course. If you find this content helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing, as well as checking out our full Udemy course. The link is in the description. The question says, we call a square matrix upper triangular if the elements below the leading diagonal are zero. It asks us to find the eigenvalues of the upper triangular matrix A, which is equal to 1, 5, minus 7, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, minus 4. And it says, what do you notice about the relationship between the eigenvalues and the diagonal elements? Well, first, let's begin by actually computing the eigenvalues as required. To do this, we solve the equation debt of a minus lambda i is equal to zero. Therefore, we want to solve debt of the matrix one minus lambda, five minus seven, zero, two minus lambda, three, zero, zero, four minus lambda is equal to zero. By expanding out this determinant, we will get 1 minus lambda times the determinant of 2 minus lambda, 3, 0, minus 4 minus lambda, and then minus 5, and we'll have 0, 3, 0, minus 4 minus lambda, and then minus 7 with 0, 2 minus lambda, 0, 0. And this result must be equal to 0 from the above equation. Now we notice that these two determinants here and here will be 0 because we have too many zeros in them to begin with. We have a 0 from here and a 0 from here as well as from here and here. Similarly, in this one here, we also have a zero from here. This leaves us with only one single term. We have the one minus lambda, the two minus lambda, and the minus four minus lambda, giving us zero as a product. This has the solutions lambda equals one, lambda equals two, and lambda equals minus 4, which therefore are the eigenvalues of the matrix A. Now, what do you notice about the relationship between these eigenvalues and the diagonal elements of the matrix A? Well, here's the matrix A. The diagonal elements are 1, 2, minus 4 and the eigenvalues are 1, 2, minus 4. And so, in fact, they are identical. This is true for any upper triangular matrix, and so we can just read off the eigenvalues directly by looking at the diagonal elements. So I'll just write down the eigenvalues are precisely the diagonal elements. Again, this is only true for an upper triangular matrix or a lower triangular matrix, as we'll discuss in a second. But hopefully you notice why this is the case. These zeros that appear here end up giving us many terms in here being equal to zero. And so the only thing you get is the this factor or rather this product here, which is precisely this product here, telling us that these terms here give us the eigenvalues. Finally, note that since the product of the eigenvalues is the determinant in general for any matrix, this also tells us that for an upper triangular matrix, we can find the determinant by just multiplying together the diagonal elements. 
So in this case, the determinant of this matrix here would be minus eight by multiplying these three elements together. The same results are true for a lower diagonal matrix as well, where all of the elements above the leading diagonal are zero, i.e. these elements here need not be zero, but these elements here would need to be zero for a lower diagonal matrix. If you've enjoyed this content, then please consider liking and subscribing as well as checking out our full Udemy course, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.